Stephen Hanley is a young 25-year-old former Royal Welsh soldier who lost his legs due to a bomb blast during the Afghanistan war in May 2012. Yeah, I was out on patrol, just a routine patrol, and I stood on an IED, or a roadside bomb as most people call it, and I got a sent up in the air and my legs were blown off. After being in hospital for a few months and then a long period of rehabilitation, Stephen got back on his feet by wearing prosthetic legs. He currently owns five pairs, including the blades he needs for being a disabled sprinter. But it's not easy to get used to these new metal legs. Be different. It's even, even these are different to having my other prosthetic legs for walking. They're just um, a completely different feeling. And trying to run on these is completely different to how I run before. And I think, I mean, for someone that maybe lost their legs when they were younger, like um, a lot of people have them off from birth or from very young, then they learn to run on blades and that's the only running they know. But I've run on normal legs, you know, for 23 years and then having to completely change the way my body does things and firing different muscles in different ways. It's learning a completely new skill. So it's a, it's a challenge, but it's uh, one that I'm happy to, to do. So. The Paralympics in Rio is where Stephen hopes to be in 2016. But getting healthy after the accident was his first priority. And that led him to a bigger dream. Well, when I was in Headley Court, which is where we do our rehab, they have days out sometimes where they have um, uh, like Paralympic coaches come down and just show us different sports and stuff. It's kind of more of a... Um, I guess for them it's kind of a bit of, a bit of talent scouting involved, but I think a lot of it's just to do with getting your mind off, off what's happening and getting you out for the day on the track and trying different things and keeping you optimistic and that you can do other things. And I sort of went to one of them days because I didn't like being in the rehab centre. Um, I, I, in fact, I couldn't stand being there. I didn't like being in a hospital environment. I wanted to get on my like, crack all my life. So for me, I just wanted a, a day out. So I agreed to go along to one of these track days just to get out of the hospital in a way and uh, I got spotted for sort of potential. For Stephen, a big inspiration for becoming a competitive disabled athlete is no other but the famous Blade Runner Oscar Pistorius. Pistorius has been making headlines as his trial is currently on as he's the main suspect in the murder of his girlfriend which took place last year. Even though now he's got all this bad press and obviously um, whether he's done it or whether he hasn't done it, um, it doesn't matter. But you can't take away from the fact that he completely changed the face of Paralympic sport, not just sprinting, but the whole of Paralympics. I think he changed the face of it. And for that, you know, he left the legacy. And uh, yeah, definitely look up to him for that, for that respect. And uh, he was great at what he did. Being away from the army has given Stephen a chance to live a normal life in Cardiff. He has his own fitness business called Too Fit to Quit, which he works at when he's not training. He believes in inspiring people through sports. His life away from the action in war-torn Afghanistan also consists of spending time with his loved ones. It took a while, I think. I think you get a bit bored, but then, but then obviously that's and the reason why doing sport and stuff like that keeps you active and keeps you busy and I got myself a dog and uh, which I thought I wouldn't be able to have a dog when I was in the army so that's quite cool and he's, he keeps me busy he's a bit of a handful so yeah I spend a lot of time with him and uh, friends and family I meet up with friends and family so yeah I, you just got to keep yourself busy and keep yourself active.